Clean medicine, pain management or chronic pain. What this subject is all about? Do you have a conceptual clarity? This video is for the doctors and not for the general public. As we know, full-time practitioners, pain practitioners are mostly from anesthesiology background. Only selective pain interventions are often performed by different specialty doctors also like orthopedicians, neurosurgeons, uh, physical medicine people and sometimes I have said few procedures are done by rheumatologists and radiologists also. Why the question of conceptual clarity came to my mind? Because I encountered these concepts during my clinical practice. So uh, someone told give painkiller and pain is gone. So what is the need of this speciality? Second statement some amount of pain cannot be treated no matter what you do. Hardly as I told that most of the pain physicians have an anesthesiology background. So if an anesthesiologist if practicing the regional anesthesia can he or she be considered as a pain physician? Let me answer these questions in the following slides. As a pain physician, we are interested in specifically chronic pain patients. A truly acute pain is not uh, not our cup of tea. Like say a uh, patient of fracture or say abdominal colic or ischemic pain is not our patient. Yes, some acute pain like acute exacerbation of chronic pain or some specific acute myofascial pain such as sprain uh, can be entertained by chronic pain physicians. Approach. Now when we treat a, any pain patient for that matter, we, treat, uh, we see the patient under two headings. One is pain generator. So what are the pain generators? So whatever structure is there in the body, they can be the pain generator. So that can be bone or joints, muscles, tendons or ligaments. In case of spine, it can be disc, vertebra or nerve. And nowadays, of course, fascia is also another source of pain generation. So what is background phenomena? Background phenomena is the cause which converts a normal anatomical structure to the pain generator. Now let us talk with the treatment. Here, uh, treatment is also under two headings, pain generator treatment and background phenomena treatment. For pain generator, generator treatment, we have three options. One is medicine, second intervention, and if required, surgical referral. So these three questions help us to decide which uh, specific treatment option is suitable for a particular patient. If patient has come with the nociceptive pain or neuropathic pain, these two pain, nociceptive pain means it is a physiological pain. It is a good pain which is necessary for our living. But a neuropathic pain is a pathological pain. It is a different type of pain and it doesn't have any good aspect. Second thing, red flag sign. There are some red flag signs, say motor paralysis, infection, malignancy, fracture. So in those, uh, if the red flag sign is present, then we refer the patients to respective specialists. Pain severity. Now, pain severity, patient can come with mild pain, moderate pain or severe pain. As per the severity, we will choose our treatment option. If patient is in severe pain, then we may have to choose the intervention as the immediate treatment option. And then we will go, we will continue the treatment with the medicine. But if it is a mild pain, of course, we will start with the medicine and mild to moderate so we will start with the medicine and if it fails then only we will go for intervention. Secondly, the background phenomena treatment options. So for background phenomena you may need, may not need any treatment if say background phenomena is degenerative or it is idiopathic. So you uh, 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 treatment of pain generator is the only treatment because you cannot modify degeneration or uh, idiopathic in idiopathic case there is nothing to modify. But if background phenomena can is different, like say infective, inflammatory, or traumatic, in those cases we refer the case to uh, uh, for additional treatment to the respective specialties. Now, what we do in interventions? As I have already told, the pain generator treatment we have three options. Let me describe a bit more about the intervention options. Options. So, what we do in interventions? So intervention has three intentions. One, take care of local inflammation. Second, regenerate the structure. 
regenerate the structure which is causing the pain now and three target the nerve supply nerve supply of the painful structure of the pain generator either you can do ablation of the nerves or you can go for modulation neuromodulation on the neural pathway so these we will target only the pain fibers only the sensory fibers and not the motor fibers one thing is important here whatever intervention we do intervention is aimed at long lasting pain relief if sometime we are giving in uh, doing an intervention with local anesthetic that is only for diagnostic as a diagnostic intervention uh, except uh, uh, some exceptional cases can be there where uh, local anesthetic block also have a definitive uh, treatment value but otherwise mainly local anesthetic blocks are given for diagnosis purpose and that will be followed by uh, definitive intervention which gives long lasting pain relief so this is an example so we are taking care of the local uh, uh, inflammation say this patient is a shoulder pain patient and there is a subacromial bursitis so this needle is been placed and medicine is being given in the subacromial bursa so this is also a shoulder pain patient but in this case this is supraspinal supraspinatus tendinosis so in this case regenerative therapy is being applied inside the tendon third case this is a si joint patient so uh, here there is no inflammation it is due to the degeneration and uh, uh, um, uh, the joint uh, deformation the patient is having the con uh, continuous pain so in that cases we will that uh, we will do neurolysis of the articular nerves the sensory supplying nerves so we are doing radio frequency denervation to give the pa patient a complete pain relief now review the starting question so give the painkiller and pain is gone do you think it is possible if, uh, to give the same painkiller for all the patients without understanding that it is a neuropathic pain or nociceptive pain no this cannot be successful second thing some amount of pain cannot be treated so have you tried all the options all the conservative options and all the intervention options with different uh, 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 intervention intentions if already tried and then you fail then you can say this but otherwise you we cannot say that pain cannot be treated third thing anesthesiologist practicing the regional anesthesia can they be uh, referred as pain physician so this question is for you to answer do you think it is the same intention with which anesthesiologist give pro, uh, does a pain uh, does a regional uh, blocks or intervention and uh, a pain physician does a pain intervention so advancement let us talk about some advancement so it is in 2024 that time is gone when interventions were done blindly blindly or surf by surface landmarks now we are using multiple uh, different gadgets so this is fluoroscopy this is uh, ultrasound machine we are using radio frequency we are using cryo we are using endoscopy also so uh, with all these different gadgets now pain, pain medicine is an advanced subject if you want to learn more about this subject if you are interested that what everything uh, is done in pain medicine please join asian pain academy thanks